pre-show spot, our RS6. We're here, the New York Auto Show. Ticketing booth. Here we go. All right, amaze me. Oh, this is kind of cool. Back to the Future DeLorean. Was not expecting this. Could this be the same car that I saw in Times Square a couple years ago? Maybe. Stainless steel body. The Nissan Aria. I saw one of these in the street the other day. Kind of cool in person. Okay, let's start at the Nissan booth because it seems like they have something special in there. Wow, they have a big stand for the GTR this year. The Z, the new Millennium J GTR. You look front of here in New York City speaking of the same, but something. This is the 2023 Millennium J GTR with the new DRL. It's one of the four acts. A 2023 T-Spec R35 GTR with a new DRLs. Interesting. Standard ceramic brakes. Not sure what the color is. I think it's Millennium Jade. The mops. Pretty cool. I think the wing on the back is a little bigger. It sticks out a little more. Titanium burnt tips and T-Spec back. On the other side, we have the Nismo R35 down there, and we have a Midnight Purple R34. The bottom car looks like Porsche's Arctic Grey, which is also like close to Civic Type R's. Uh, I don't know what grade they're using, but if you look at the bumpers, are they integrated? Kind of integrated. Same DRLs, probably 200 something thousand. We do a walk around of this first before going to the one upstairs. Carbon fiber louvers, ceramic brakes. What tires are these? More Dunlops. It's a show car, so they're not letting people in a two hundred thousand dollar car. But we'll look at the inside. Pretty functional, I'd say. The Bose speaker subwoofer is still in the back. I like this. Kind of a swan neck wing, but not really. See the back. We get that T diffuser. Not sure what the deal is about that. You know, I'm really curious where they got that car because it looks really original. Like even the exhaust is original. Twin pipes. That's what I have in mind. Look underneath it. Everything looks super original, super stock. Even the carbon diffuser looks untouched. So it's making me think. Could this be a? Uh, Japan car? Because a couple years ago they brought over the R33 LM. Now I'm thinking, I don't know, because the Midnight Purple cars are supposed to have um, silver wheels, not the gray ones. So maybe the wheels are a little different, but everything else is the same. Have a look underneath. The oil, ca oil drain cap is still there. I lost mine. It's kind of cool how they made this whole area the GTR section and even bringing that car here. And the new Z. Would you rather this or the Supra? Okay, so I asked around and apparently this GTR is has been imported to US uh, to a private owner. So it's not a factory example, but the way it looks, man, it looks factory. Because look, if you look at the underbody, there's no scrapes like mine. And everything down here is just mint, mint, mint. Now there's a trivia for our product. Right. Get off those cell phones, scan that QR code. Some wheels here and they chained it up. GTR they should. Utilizes very Moving on, we got the Raptor R. This is pretty sick, V8 in the Raptor. Go check out Roy's video for uh, more detailed information. If you just see over here, it says V8 R. Little Easter eggs. We got the Mustang Dark yeah, Horse. That is cool. You made a project. Awesome. Not sure what generation this well, is, hey, but this is the only one just a few seconds, that has a uh, the super Who's cool there? change color changing paint. Let's see, blue turns purple. I like this. Now, do you prefer this one or do you prefer that one over there? The E-Ray, the all-wheel drive Corvette, with carbon wheels. I think it kind of has a Z06 body kit, with like that 
the bay over there, and the carbon wheels and ceramic brakes. Front fascia painted. Oh, the guy also said it's a Z06 body, so I was right. It's got a white body on this, the E-Ray. The interior is all carbon. Nice, nice. E-Ray bag. But with the Z06 body, the uh, exhaust tips are still the regular Corvette tips. I don't know, I kind of like the center mounted exhaust tips on the Z06. Color palettes are always cool. Love the colors. And that's a Z06 coupe with a Z Z07 pack. Carbon dive planes, carbon wheels, and you get the carbon wing back there. So let's walk around this. Oh, this car has orange brakes. Fitting. Luggage, these are the colors you get on the Corvette. Everybody likes their wheels. And this is how the exhaust system should be placed, right in the middle. Way better. I think only in the US you get cars driving around at, at the auto show. I think this is the Mustang ones, and the Jeeps are outside. The electric blazer, kind of cool. Massive wheels, I wonder how big they are. Let's go see. 275, 22 inches. G GM's just pumping out electric cars like no nope, tomorrow. Pretty cool, even that one back there too. And you have this Trax EV, and you have the electric Silverado. It's massive. My third time seeing this. It's still big. But what's cool is that you can drop that and put stuff in the cabin. Or just drive like that. We're at the supercar section of it. We have a Urus Performante, I think. With the amount of carbon on this car, it looks like Performante. And we have the Storado, the off-road Huracan. So we saw a yellow one a couple of days ago in Boston. And this is a gray one with all the carbon bits. Let's see. Oh, the roof isn't carbon, but everything else is that massive diffuser. Acropovic exhaust, upgraded wheels. We have a Remac Navara here. I don't, I don't know if you saw the video on uh, YouTube. I think Top Gear made it, but they were driving this with a Chiron, which is super cool. And I think if we go electric one day, this is the car. That. We got the Jamera on the other side. We got the Amira. Not sure when these are getting delivered soon. And uh, Ventega V8. Wow, this company's still alive. Got a couple Hyundai race cars. Kind of cool. I think that's a uh, Samantha's teammate, Harry Bonsack. Cool. Carbon fiber. And TCR race car. Swanek wing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Cool. And that's the uh, streetcar over there, the Elantra X. Is this a two-tone or a single-tone? Might be the lighting, but the new Ghost. Ah, the Tetson 911 reimagined. It, look, it looks a little bubbly. Kind of looks like a 356 and a 911 mixed together, but this company actually makes 911 in air-cooled, uh, hybrid, and or electric so look them up kind of saw a little snippet for a week from a couple weeks before they were there i've seen this before at uh manhattan motor cars i think not sure what the story is with this but it's been it's been sitting that's the press car that's been everywhere four seater we'll see if they actually make this car in the future but pretty good concept you plug it in the butt I like this. It looks rugged, but really cool actually. Way better under the lights here than, than in Miami. You get to see these off-road lights. These are optional. And the roof rackets are also optional. So the whole thing, uh, the whole car here is actually pretty well uh, packaged and optioned. The roof racks for ski trips. The back. Really cool that they made this. Look at the off-road tires. So cool. Polestar is just back here. Polestar 1, Polestar 2. Not even a rep in sight. Solid marketing. Subaru always has the best group here for outdoor stuff. I think they collaborate with the National Park Service or something for their uh, setup. Super cool. Oh, look at this. Crosscheck. 
That's actually sick. Like, look at this. I haven't seen a manufacturer that puts this much work into outdoor nature. Kind of messing with people's heads, but kind of cool. Whatever this is, it's so sick. Some sort of FJ converted concept. Let's see. SEMA. Oh, SEMA. Oh, cool. This car is a SEMA? Look at that. That's so cool. Another SEMA concept vehicle. Patriot Campers or Games. Queensland um, replica plates. Not real, but wow. You no, know, if only they brought this here, but too bad. They're, these are show cars. They're right hand drive, too. Right drive. I totally get one if they sold one here. This is a new one. It's still in production, and uh, the primary users are, well, United Nations and other aides. 1,025 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 1.66 seconds. Oh god, don't lean on a car. Look at the tires on this thing. And the intake suck. Look at the driver's seat. I don't know if that's standard, but is that an e-brake? What the heck? Thick half wheels, but look at this. Carbon fiber barrels? How are they on drag racing? I'm not too sure, but really cool. Demon 170 badges. Pretty wild they made this. Oh, it comes with a cage too in the back? Yo, how, how did they get a cage and Porsches not get a cage? The last rendition. The electric charger concept or Challenger. Huh, definitely futuristic. The wheels are cool, that's for sure. They kept the idea of the uh, Charger and Challenger. That's pretty cool. Life goes on, right? We gotta evolve. So here we are. Daytona concept. What's with them showing the uh, Alpha Julia in this PP yellow? Kinda cool, but I don't know, kinda weird. Column mounted shifters are the best part. Amber blinker superiority. This is so cute. It's like all purple. Cartel? Cartel? That was like a pink one last year. That was super cute. Hey, this is some artist collaborated car. Pretty cool. It's very custom. Very custom. Let's go around this. It's a 500E electric. Dude, they're really trying to sell the wagon here. They have them here, there, they have them here. Bro. Kia's got a really big booth here this year. Alright, what's going on here? Little test car circuit. Alright, we're at Honda. Where's the new Type R? Let's find it. Guess what? They don't have the new Type R. Alright, let's go. Here it is, the Panamera looking thing. Jeep flexing all their awards. Top, bottom, other side. <laughs> the new EV Ram. That's a regular Ram. This is the new electric Ram. Now the real question is, would people be stealing this one too? As easily as like the, you know, the current Ram. Oh, the yellow one. I think that was in Toronto too. How sick would it be for this truck to tow the GT2? If it wasn't stolen. Let's see the uh, Easter egg. Let's see. The T-Rex eating the Raptor for Ford. No headlights, just screens. Oh, it's a Disney edition. Look at the wheels, Mickey Mouse ears. What's inside? Oh, hi. Down here, Mickey Mouse ears. These taillights, they're just screens. That's a cool color. It's almost like the dark horse color shifting color. See, it's like blue and then it turns kind of purple. Sweet. The GB90s, best bang for a buck for uh, executive cars. 
this car has everything you need in an S-Class or a 7 Series. Super cool. So we got the hierarchy. We got the 3 Series, the 5 Series, and the 7 Series for C-Class, E-Class, and S-Class. That's kind of cool. That's the new uh, GV40, I think, the little electric car. Pretty cool. This color, look at the wheels. Very fancy. This is all BMW brought. The XM and the uh, iX. Never seen this in person, actually. Massive. Yeah, they got the bigger grills. It's like, whose grill is bigger, mine or yours? And we have the Porsche stand, which is just honestly disappointing and embarrassing. The only cool car here is probably this one that I saw a couple weeks ago too. Um, it's a Golf Blue Turbo convertible. Yeah, that, that's about it. Well, race cars are always cool. Lexus has got something right. Yo, look at that carbon center console. Damn. Pretty cool. The wheels look kind of small though. A modded IS. Interesting. Meister shaft. Carbon bits, Advent GTs. Oh, there's nothing inside. Oh, okay. The dry carbon hood's kind of cool. Toyota brought out some NAS trucks, a NASCAR this year. 6.5 liter pushing 700 horsepower. Damn, it's all like tubing and stuff. All right, where is the Gia Corolla? Did they bring it here this year? Let's find it. Nintendo Switch. Get it and play. Where is it? And there's Mario Kart inside and outside. Never seen this before. The Toyota BZ4X, they call it. RAV4 and uh, new Prius mix. Looks like it. Inside's kind of cool. Yep, looks like it. Oh, I found the GR Corolla. It's out here. This is probably the coolest car and the most exciting car that I've been waiting for. And this one over here is a circuit, uh, circuit edition. So it's got the hood bend and that forged carbon roof that you can't see. But I'll show you when my car comes. Yep, these hood vents. Seems like this one has been driven. So dirty. It's so cool. Look at the triple exhaust or quad exhaust and tri exhaust down here. So cool. And these hips. Yeah, this is a proper place to put the NSX with the Ferrari over there. We got a 95 C4S. <laughs> Someone did something to this. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Why does it look so fat? Inside's kind of cool. Brown. Ooh, window intake. Oh wait, that's LA swapped. Jesus. Some sort of Maserati. Some top secret. S15. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, some sort of Impreza. Is it a 22B? Is it? Oh, they say it's a 22B, but not too sure. EK. This is like the Fast and Furious special. Oof. What happened here? The Supra, extra wide. Look how far back the engine is. That's all like radiator and cooling. Wow. Jesus. Look at that turbo. Not bad. And side exhaust. S15, I'll stick it up. Kind of cool. Got a Batmobile here. <clears throat> Not sure what the deal with this is, but. Holy turbo. What block is this? I don't know. I don't really talk BMW. But super cool. Center lock wheels. Mm, classy interior. 
cage. Super deep dish. Oh, PC fans in the back. Pretty cute. Old DTM. Oh, these are kind of cool. FD, FB, we got a Midnight Purple 33 here. A couple Integras. Oh, for sale. If you guys want it, let's see. 2000 Type S, 96,000 miles. Oh, cool. All right, moving on. S2000, ITBs. Sweet. Looks like the, looks like the Amuse from Bumper, but I'm not too sure. We have another NSX here. FK8, FL5. Oh, so this is where the where the new Type R's are downstairs, not at the manufacturer's booth, but down here. Got a Accord left-hand drive, so probably T TSX. And back there are all the campers. It's like a Honda section here. Time Attack, and some really uh, creative plates here. This is actually cool. Another purple R33 with LMGT2s, I think. These are cool. The almost stock Supras. Look at that. And there's a lot of them. Something's a little off about this. I'm not too sure why. I don't think it's wide enough. Oh, somebody knows what this car is. I don't think it's wide enough. Not sure what kit this is, but it looks kinda sick. On the MC20. Even got a roof scoop now. Upgrades. What do you think? Looks better than stock or not as good as stock? Hmm. Cup car. Live demo here with wrapping. The Lancia from the Cultivated Collector. Saw him last week. Cool stuff. Homologation special. You don't see these here. This is imported from Europe. Or specifically, Italy because of the front plate that you can see over there. Interior, really nice uh, soft leather. 500D, another uh, understated car that nobody knows about. This car was actually built in the Porsche factory. If you want more details, go look at Jason Camisa's Haggerty video about on this car. It's so cool. It's like they built it at the Mercedes factory, sent to the Porsche to get parts put on and then finished it at the Mercedes factory. So really cool. And the black Countach. The Rays booth. Rays everything. Even T's on the 488. The Bond car is kind of cool. I think this car was at the Peterson last year. Rockets, cannons. They're roll cage inside. Here we go. Gladiator is going up. Like I said, the only auto show that you see like live demo. And down it comes. Oh, 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 oh. 